one, <coughs> uh, the president has not given ESCOM to me. Okay. So I don't constitute uh, portfolios. So I can tell you now, ESCOM has not been given to me by the president. Okay. So, but I was part of the conference. I know the feeling of delegates of the ANC. I've also noticed that there is an agitated, um, uh, let me describe it as liberal analysts and journalists against that. Mm. So uh, that puts the president in a very awkward situation because he must choose between the liberals and the delegates of the ANC. Uh, it's, it's, it's a difficult position to be in. I can't make that choice for him. Mm. But uh, even if it's not with me, there are things that I think ESCOM should focus on. First thing is to look into the electricity availability factor, mm -hmm. because that is where the origin of load shedding is. If the uh, availability, the electricity availability factor is at 49%, mm -hmm. it means there's a lot of idle capacity that is not giving us energy. Mm -hmm. Now, if there can be investment on ensuring that that capacity gives us energy, we will have time, first of all, to deal with load shedding, number two, to build the capacity of energy in the country in the medium to long term. Now, the, 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 the responsibility of the Minister of Energy yes. is not to connect megawatts to the grid. Okay? Mm -hmm. I'm stating that as a fact. My responsibility is to approve, uh, if there is a bid window five, yeah. which wants uh, 2,583 megawatts, I approve it. And 1,759 is under construction. Mm. It is under construction because, because renewables leave the story of that if we get renewables now, we'll have no load shedding. When you get a contract to build a renewable energy facility, mm. there is a lead time to build it. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Now, in the public debate, that lead time to build it is not taken into account. They say there's no grid that we have put in. 1,759 megawatts are under construction mm. on bid window 5. Yeah. In December, in December, we're supposed to have approved 4,200 4, megawatts, mm. 4,200 megawatts for bid window 6. There was another comment that was made. Uh, towards the end of last year, Minister, where you said that by not addressing load shedding, ESCOM was agitating for the overthrow of the state. Now, it's a widely quoted comment, but I want to yes. hear from you. Yes. So, do you agree that in making that statement, you accused roughly 40,000 people who work for ESCOM of treason, right, first of all? And then second, do you have evidence of treasonous actions, or is it something that you said without having any evidence to back up the fact that ESCOM was doing now, this on purpose? No, you see, that's, that's a problem of uh, a journalist who wants to treat himself as a court. Mm -hmm. So raise your right hand and say, so help me court. <laughs> now, I, I won't deal with you in that way. Uh, I raise this issue because somebody said, uh, why do you agitate for, in this way? I made a simple point, I said to them, if you have load stage six load shedding, mm -hmm. uh, whether you do that deliberately or not, mm -hmm. you are pitting society against the state. I see. Yeah, in any other country, there would be an uprising. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. Any other country, there would be an uprising. Correct. If I procure energy for ESCOM, the people who must agree to that to buy that is the ultimate buyer. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. I don't carry energy and distribute it. That's not what I do. I, I procure it. It goes to the buyer of last resort, mm -hmm. which will be ESCOM in this case. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm 